Hey everyone, welcome to the Crazy Desert Knitting channel. This channel focuses on knitting, crocheting, and other yarn related topics. I am Mel, the Crazy Desert Knitter, welcoming you from the sunny city of Phoenix, Arizona. I am so glad that everyone is here today. To all of my new viewers, welcome to the Crazy Desert Knitting family. To all my returning viewers, thank you guys so much for coming back and seeing me. Today is a yarn comparison video. Uh, just so everybody knows, I am not paid for any of this. Uh, I actually consider these two yarns to be relatively comparable. And what I'm talking about is I gave, I showed you guys a video of my review of the paint box, 100% DK cotton. Well, I also have used sugars and cream. Now, mostly these would be considered interchangeable. So this one is made with 100% DK cotton from paint box. This is made with 100% worsted weight cotton from Sugars and Cream. And please keep in mind, this one has not been washed. This one has been washed. Uh, I, in a few minutes, in a few seconds, actually, I will be going over to my other space over here and give you guys a closer up look with more comparison between the two. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone. So here are the four different washcloths that I'm going to be comparing. Before we start, if you were looking for any of the names or anything like that for any of these, go ahead and check out the description box below. The different yarns that we have here today, I know this one right here, this one here, is 100% uh, cotton DK from Paint Box. It is a Paint Box yarn. This one right here is 100% cotton worsted weight from Barocco. And I believe both of these over here are 100% cotton sugars and cream worsted weight. Uh, these are not all knit, they are not all crochet, and they are not all made by me. So this far one over here is crocheted. These three are knit. This one is the only one that has been knit by me. These two were knit for my mom as a gift. So I did borrow them for the purposes of this comparison video. Now, these are just my opinions and my experiences with working with these uh, three different types of yarn, and I'm going to give you benefits and drawbacks of each uh, and, you know, for the same things across the board here. So I'm going to start with twist. Uh, for me, knitting and twist is a big deal. The best twist out of these three yarns, again, we are talking paint box, Barocco, and sugars and cream. I would have to rate twist wise, paint box had the best twist, followed by sugars and cream, then comes Barocco. So just to let you know, again, paint box, sugars and cream, Barocco is my one through three ranking for the twist. I like a hearty twist on my yarn. However, a high twist, a hearty twist, however you want to term it. However, that's not always what you need for your pattern. If you need something with a little less twist, you know what? Sugars and cream, Barocco is the way to go. Um, next thing I'm saying is going to be durability. These, all of these washcloths have been washed numerous times. I would say this washcloth here, since the last time you guys saw it in a video, has been washed an additional two times and used again for a couple of days in between washings. Uh, so it's been washed about five times in total. This Barocco cotton one here has somewhere between 15 and 20 washes, as well as these sugars and creams also have about 15 to 20 washes. These, these washcloths are definitely a little bit older. I knit this Barocco cotton one about a year ago, give or take a little bit. Uh, so keep that in mind when we're talking about everything from here on out. Okay, so durability. The hardiest yarn out of the three of them, I truly and sincerely believe, is this Barocco cotton. It is the toughest yarn so far. I, again, I've used this washcloth here to scrub pans with, and it basically doesn't show a dent, you know, or the equivalent of a dent. Uh, the next one that I would recommend would be the Sugars and Cream for hardiness. It has, it has a good base to it. It's a good all around dishcloth cotton. You know, it's, that's the last one. This, for this one here, I have not tried to do certain things with it yet. However, 
It is the softest. It has the best twist on it, but it's the softest. I don't think this one would be nearly as hardy as these two. So again, if you're looking for something to make a mat, an outdoor mat, or something that you're going to need to scrub with, or something that has to be a little more durable, I would go for either the Barocco or the Sugars and Cream over the paint box. Uh, when it comes to color stay, this is this is a big thing for a lot of knitters and crocheters out there. Color stay between your yarns after numerous washings. The best color stay that I have found so far is actually in this Barocco cotton as well as in this paint box, 100% cotton DK. After the first wash in both of these, after the first wash of both of these, I don't think their color has really changed. We had a little bit of color loss in both of them once we wash them in the washing machine, soap, water, yada, yada, yada. After that, I have not seen any color loss. Uh, this Barocco cotton one here, you'll see that this is white through here and the rest of it's pale baby blues, you know, paler blues, lighter blues. The only thing that I can tell you has changed over time with this is the white has picked up some color from other things. So that, you know, the pale blues, You've still got varying shades of pale blues in here and varying shades of blues in here. They haven't really changed a whole lot since after the first washing. Same thing with this 100% DK uh, from Paintbox. Now, the sugars and cream has bled a little bit more. Their color has not stayed quite, I'm gonna pull this over just a little bit. Their color hasn't stayed quite as well. This was definitely a little bit brighter of a yellow when it first came, when first starting getting used. But, I mean, it's not horrible. You can definitely tell it's still yellow. It's been washed 15 to 20 times, somewhere in that vicinity. You know, it, it definitely bled and it's still, I wouldn't say bled. It definitely lost some of its color. Uh, and it's still, it's gotten paler over time. It hasn't stayed the exact same shade over time. Once these two over here, once they first lost their color, they've pretty much stayed the same. These two have become paler over time. As they kept getting used, they became, they lost more and more of their color. This sugars and cream one here, you can definitely see this white. Okay, it's supposed to be white in here, a pale green and more of a, ro I'm gonna call it a robust pink. This is now a pale pink. It's definitely a pale pink. It was a more robust pink. It was pink. It wasn't bright pink. It wasn't deep pink, but it was pink. Um, I would actually call this now, it's dulled over time and things like that, but it's definitely now more of a baby pink than it would be a pink. That's how my mom describes it. Let's put it that way. I'm not a pink person, so it took a little time for me to understand how pink pink could be, but there we go. The green has actually faded to the same color, almost faded to, I need to weave in that end for my mom, um, has almost faded to the same color as the white now. So again, it the color stay isn't atrocious. Um, again, these have been used a lot. They have been used for dishes and cleaning and things like that over time. So the two that I would recommend highly are the Barocco Cotton as well as the Paintbox 100% Yarn. Um, these ones lost their color a little bit more. These sugars and cream, you guys can see the pattern in here really nicely. Uh, this one, you know, is a combination of knits and, you know, seed stitch and purl. So it's knit, seed stitch, and purl right here if you guys are familiar with knitting. It shows the pattern beautifully. It shows the pattern really, really well. So, you know, I really liked this one when it came to stitch definition and shape of your item. I would definitely go sugars and cream. Uh, now, to give you guys an idea of the paint box one, this here is made at a much, much tighter gauge than these two over here. I think I used a 1.75 millimeter hook to crochet this, but you can actually see some stitch definition in here and it held up pretty well. The shape is okay. Um, I'll actually, I'm gonna pull in a knitted version. 
This is actually a knitted washcloth. This has not been washed. Just to let you guys know, this has not been washed. But for the most part, the shape is pretty good. Apparently I got a little tight in here. But other than that, I mean, it, it holds its shape pretty well. And I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. However, it does great stitch definition here. And it's a little bit nicer to touch, but I also think the sugars and cream worked really well for this. So when it comes to stitch definition, I would actually choose the sugars and cream and holding shape of your garment, sorry, stitch definition and shape. I would use the sugars and cream over any of the other two. So sugars and cream over the Broco or the paint box. However, paint box is a close second in my opinion. So sugars and cream, paint box, Barocco cotton. Just to let you guys know. Now that we've done all everything else, let's get down to feel. Let's get down to touch. Let's get down to softness, if that's what you guys want to call it. I would use each one of these for different purposes. The paint box 100% DK is, to me, out of these three, the softest yarn. It is the nicest one to sit here and go like this with. Sugars and cream would be the second in line. Barocco cotton is definitely the roughest. It, it does not have that same softness that the paint box has, and it's a little bit rougher than the sugars and cream. But as I said before, when it comes to hardiness, I definitely would go with Barocco over the other two. So just keep that in mind. So sugars and cream, it's not the softest, it's not the harshest, it's a good one for dishes. You know, like that's kind of what I think. So softness, I would definitely go with paint box over Barocco or the sugars and cream dishcloth cotton. All right, so I think we went through hardiness of the yarn or twist, hardiness of the yarn, kind of what would be good used for color stay, stitch definition, and I'm going to call it softness. So thank you guys, and I'm going to send you back to me. All right, so that is my comparison between the 100% DK paint box cotton and the 100% 100% cotton from Sugars and Cream. I'm sorry about that. Uh, again, I kind of consider these two comparable in many ways. The DK obviously is just a little bit thinner. You probably need an extra five stitches to equal the same size as the as the worsted weight cotton, maybe if you're pushing it. Um, but other than that, to me, they are very comparable and I would use both again. Um, keep dropping this one. <laughs> depending, okay, make sure he's right side up. There we go. Depending on what it is that I'm trying to accomplish. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down there. If you are looking for any descriptions, links, or anything else to uh, any things that I talked about today, again, go ahead and check out that comment box below. It is all in there. Uh, so until next time, everyone, I am Mel, the Crazy Desert Knitter, saying thanks a lot for joining me. And in the meantime, just keep knitting, everyone. Bye.